Cloud IDS detects malware, spyware, command and control attacks, and other network-based threats. Its security efficacy is industry-leading, built with Palo Alto Networks technology. Being cloud-native, Cloud IDS is simple to deploy, it's managed, and provides high performance. Customers can also use Cloud IDS to support their compliance goals. This gives you the ability to detect exploit attempts, port scans, buffer overflows, and more without having to manage the infrastructure required to host an advanced IDS. All of this is automatically integrated with cloud logging, allowing for alerts and UI and the ability to integrate your SimSore platform in order to take appropriate next steps for your organization. At a high level, here's what happens. First, we specify a Cloud IDS endpoint to direct traffic to VMs hosting the IDS system. Then, in order to analyze potential threats, we set up a packet mirroring policy to duplicate and forward packets into our IDS endpoint. There's a lot of flexibility around which packets get mirrored as users can specify to forward packets from one or more subnets, instances with specific network tags, or even select instances by name. The IDS VMs are then responsible for analyzing and managing the threats that come into the system. If threats are detected, they are logged into cloud logging and we can, if we choose, use BigQuery or other tools to take automatic actions based on the threats IDS discovered. Getting started is straightforward. In the UI, within your VPC or virtual private cloud, navigate to the Network Security Cloud IDS page and create a new IDS endpoint. We'll give it a name, select a region for it to operate in, and on the next page, we'll select the threat levels we want to be alerted for. Once we select Create, behind the scenes, Google Cloud will set up VMs to host the IDS system. It will set up a load balancer to manage traffic into it and a bunch of other useful infrastructure to support securing your platform. Once that's finished, which will take about 20 minutes at the time of this video, you'll attach a new policy to the endpoint to define which package you want to be mirrored. In this case, we'll name the policy, enable it, and we'll specify a subnet and we'll mirror all packets from it. This means that any traffic coming into or out of this range of IP addresses will be duplicated and forward over to the IDS endpoint we set up previously. To test this out, over in the command line, we'll use curl to send test malware attacks to our server. Back in our Cloud IDS UI, you'll see we now have a few threats of various levels populated in our UI. By clicking on a threat, I can see more information about it, such as the source and destination IP addresses and more. Additionally, you can click view all threat logs, which will open up a new tab with the threat logs. At this point, we could manually take steps to fix some of these threats, or just like with any cloud logging logs, we could use BigQuery or PubSub to forward these logs to a SIM to perform additional security response steps. The last thing I wanna show before we go is a Cloud IDS dashboard that will show a high level overview of your system, including the top five threats, source addresses, and destination IP addresses. You can click on any of these dashboards to get more information. This is the power of Cloud IDS in a nutshell. It allows you to integrate the functionality of Google Cloud with Palo Alto Network's advanced IDS, giving you a managed cloud scale security system that just works. For more information about this and other security topics, be sure to check out the links in the description for more information on securing your cloud using Cloud IDS.